What's up guys, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. What we have here is a pair of, ha, 50 watt Lanzar Opti 50 C's. 50 watts is a joke. These are rated at 25 watts times two into four ohms and up to 800 watts bridged at one half ohm. And this is two different generations. The blue one is actually the older generation which I believe is somewhere around 94, 95, and the black one is around 96, maybe 97. So I'll show you the guts here in just a minute, but I'm also gonna show you the terminals and everything looks the same. And both amplifiers, as you can see, have dual eight gauge um, power inputs, and they both have terminal strips for the speakers and the remote wire exactly the same no differences there and here we have the gain the subwave boost and the inputs and a stereo mono switch and as you can see the black one has the same exact options there inputs and gain subwave boost and stereo mono switch now let's pop the bottom of these jokers and see if they're the same internally. I have all feelings that they are, but you know how we like to do it here at Old School Stereo? We like to find out for sure. So let's see them guts. All right, guys, here we go. Here are the guts of the Lanzar Opti 50 Cs. This is the black model here, which is a 96 or newer. Fan here to help keep it cool. And here's the 94 to 95 blue model. Just do a slow pan and we'll talk about it in a little bit. Just my observations. First off, what I've noticed is the caps on this one, I was told, have been swapped out. And it appears they have. There's also just a little bit of burn there on the board. So I bet this cap right here might have popped at one time, but it does not appear that it did any permanent damage to the board. You can see these are black caps here. They are 10,000 microfarad, 25 volt. And other than that, it appears the toroids are the same size. There's something interesting going on here. I'm sure maybe Aaron from at Vision can let me know what's going on with this, but it's got some kind of a wrap around it. I'm not sure. It does not appear to have any kind of metal insulation in it, but I don't know. That may be some kind of an insulator from the toroids to the rest of the um, rest of the board because there's one on this one as well. See the wrap around it there? And I'll show you the older version. It looks like different color wire they use and it may be a couple more windings on this one or maybe not. Maybe it's the same winding. They just put them a little bit further apart. And you can see this one's really the same size. It just has this little wrap with the extra wires in it. Not sure what's going on with that, but somebody out there does for sure well there's the guts of the Lanzar Opti 50 C's 50 watt cheater amps capable of 800 watts at one half ohm bridge mono amazing amplifiers well there you go guys quick brief overview here of the Lanzar Opti 50 C's two different generations and I put the CD up there to kind of give you an idea of how big these amps are. They are huge. And you don't see many amps today. I don't think you see any amps today that are this big, this powerful, and rated at 50 watts. The cheater age, um, I guess, is gone. But anyway, this is old school. So this is why we're showing them to you. This is how it used to be when they were made in the USA with pride. So this is Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. We will see you next time. I'm out of here.